Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Midland Community Stadium for the annual city championship game. The Midland High Chemics versus the Dow High Chargers. This is Dave Marsh bringing you the action, along with the old ball coach, Frank Aldemore. And we are thrilled to be bringing you all the 50th rendition of the city championship game. Number 50. Can you believe that, coach? No, I can't, Dave. It's been, it seems, I remember the first one. And it was uh, just a wonderful game and just exciting to be here. Same, same effort of our teams and just a great night. Coach, Great one night of, for football here. Coach, one of the handful of people that's been to all 50 of these uh, here tonight. And so we're, uh, we're really excited about this. Our matchup tonight features uh, Midland High, who is the visitor, the fans on the opposite side of the press box midland eight and oh on the year six and oh in the second valley league ranked number one in the state currently in division two dow high meanwhile five and three overall five and one in the league so this game has a lot of implications midland high cert searching out for that undefeated regular season dow high meanwhile a victory over midland tonight would tie them for the uh for first place in the second valley league blue division and also, a win tonight would clinch a playoff spot for the Chargers. And that's a big deal, the, the ability to get in the playoffs. I think, to be honest with you, Dave, I think Dow can get in the playoffs at five and four. But if they get in at five and four, and they're still going to be here next Friday night playing Midland High, right. Midland High will be the host team, Dow will be the visitor. So that's if they get in. And right. that you, you never know what's going to happen with some of the other teams. But the great thing about this game, which culminates the season is, despite the records, despite the playoffs and all that, this is a playoff game in itself, really. And it's, it's a season in itself. And I, I've always said that if you win, you're happy for a year. If you lose, oh, <laughs> my goodness. You're living with that for it a takes, year. It takes till Christmas to get over <laughs> a loss. I have to tell you. But, you know, Dave, when we get in this, there's so many things that inf have influenced these games over the years. And I looked at this and I said, okay, what are some of the things that a as a coach I would look at? Well, number one, field position has determined so many of these games. So many times Midland has pinned Dow inside their 15 yard line and been able to, uh, and been unable to get out. They punt, Midland gets the ball, middle of the field, drives in for a touchdown. Turnovers on both sides have determined who won this game. An intercepted pass, a fumble, things like that. And in the past years now, it was fumbles and, and that, but now it's quarterback pressure. Can you put pressure on the quarterback to make him just hurry his pass, just make him move his feet a little bit? Because in today's football, the offenses run through that quarterback. He's really an old single wing tailback. Okay. You know, he can run, he can uh, throw, and even sometimes punt. So we need to take a look at our keys to this game as we go into this, and we'll uh, come up with that right now, starting with the Chargers. Uh, they have to start fast. They can't get stuck behind. They're gonna be three and out on defense, try to slow Midland down and move those sticks. For Midland, and this is a big deal for them, win that special teams battle. Number two, like I said, pressure the quarterback. Make Jude move his feet. And number three, you have to have a big game for money. Now notice, the emphasis on those keys to the game is on that quarterback position. Yeah. Well, that's football. That's uh, many times that is uh, exactly the uh, Important factor, and we're talking about two quarterbacks that are having outstanding seasons, the top two passers in the Saginaw Valley League Blue Division. It's uh, Al Money, the junior quarterback for the Chemex, having a phenomenal season, completing 66% of his passes, 1,251 yards, 20 touchdown passes, and only six interceptions. And uh, he leads the league in uh, percentage yards and TDs. Meanwhile, senior quarterback for Dow, Shane Jude, also having a great year. Almost 60% of his passes completed. 1,091 yards, 12 touchdowns, 
and he has thrown just four interceptions. So, uh, you know, that it would be no surprise if the quarterbacks, whoever has the best game, uh, prevails in, in this one. And uh, we are going to send it down right now onto the field to join the Dow High Marching Band as they play the national anthem. Outstanding job by the Dow High Marching Band. Uh, one of the best bands you'll find around, along with the Chemic Marching Band, really. And we're good to see at halftime one of the great spectacles you get all year long is the two bands out on the field together uh, performing during uh, halftime of the city championship. 500 game. bandsmen. It's amazing. It's it is. So, it's a so wonder much, so wonderful much sight. Just an electric atmosphere here at Midland Community Stadium. A beautiful, crisp autumn evening. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. It's cool outside, but uh, it's uh, it's just warming right up as uh, the anticipation for this uh, contest as we about to get underway. Now, Dow won the toss and elected to defer, so Midland will be receiving at the kickoff. And so we'll get an early chance to see uh, the Chemic offense led by Al Money. We talked a lot this week, kind of the neat thing about being around town a long time, the kind of the generational kind of the, aspect. and The family of the monies and the Judays has been phenomenal. You know, it, it goes all the way back to uh, grandparents who, yeah. who have done a great job and parents who both played in the 80s for Dow and Midland. Yep. And now their sons are playing. So it's a, it's a fantastic situation. Yeah, Money and Judy's dads played against each other in baseball and softball, uh, played with each other at during Berry Hill baseball season, so it's uh, really kind of a cool side story for this game. As we, uh, the Midland Community Stadium uh, packed house here tonight as it always is for the city championship game. And uh, Mount, Mount Pleasant coming off that huge win over Mount Pleasant last week, which really put them in a change the season a bit where now they're really in a position where they can make the playoffs. And uh, it just kind of added, uh, added some even more energy to this game if it was even possible. Now it's very interesting. This kickoff will determine field position early in the game. Hayden Hetherington <coughs> kicks off for Dow. And that's all Brecht is going to return it close to the 30-yard line. Very good coverage by Dow. Very good. Number one, Bryce Albrecht uh, on that return. But, yeah, good job by the Chargers special teams. Midland will take over on their own 30-yard line to start the, their first series of the game. Said money is the quarterback. Running back is... Number 32, Drew Johnson. He's a load, 220-pound junior. And he's been out. He's had dislocated kneecap. This is his first game in about three, so we'll be interested in seeing how well he's able to perform. And he's going to get the carry. Drive ahead for a couple yards. Nice job by that Charger defense. That was uh, 71. 
Merrick Belgiorno on the stop. Bring up second and eight for the Chemex. Number three, Tommy Johnstone was man in motion. He is having an unbelievable senior season. 17 touchdowns on the year. He's in motion again. He's going to take the handoff. No, it's a fake. Money's going to keep it. Drive ahead for about five or six on the oh, second down run. Very good fake on the part of Money and Johnstone. Now, here's an interesting thing, Dave. You're talking about adults. Johnstone's father and Rich Jude played together on the same Dow High football really? team back wow. in 86. Wow. So here we go, third and three. Now you pretty well bet this is going to be handoff to Johnson to have him get the game. Tight formation. John, it's a pitch to Johnstone, and he's going to be tripped up, but drives ahead. That's yeah, a great, great effort. Good, excellent effort on Looked his like part. Looked like he was going to be stopped, but uh, he's going to pick up the first down as he just crosses the 40-yard line. A good lead block by John uh, by Johnson. I see. There's one of my. <laughs> Dow needed a three and out right there. They needed to force Midland to punt. Now Midland can move into that field position area where their punter, if they don't do anything, will pin Dow down in the corner. That was a big, big three and out. Bryce Albrecht, number one, also wide out for the Chemex, as is number six, Max Fisher. All trips left, two receivers to the right. Money back to pass, a little bubble screen to Albrecht. Caught it in the, on the run, is going to gain five yards. Now that's a favorite play of theirs. They put the trip formation to the field, throw the little bubble screen underneath, get five to eight yards, hope to be able to break it. Caleb, Stu Caleb Studebaker. Okay, here's, here's the trip to the field out here. And you'll see the player comes back underneath and makes the play. There's the little flip. You see all the linemen are downfield. Money back to pass. Under pressure, heavy pressure, he's bring down. What a play. That's Gage Crawl with a huge sack. Immediate pressure, almost okay, like a screen a, pass. It was That was just so a fast. simple rollout. Here we go with the play up in here. We got the pressure coming. Money's gonna sprint out to the corner here and Dow's gonna be able to make the play right there. Very nice. This is 51 gauge Kroll, and you see they can, it, it's hard to handle him. He's been a difficult person to handle all year long. I've, I thought as an outside linebacker, he's been exceptional in that Dow defense. All the way back to the 30 yard line, third and 21 for Midland. This is a, a, usually a pass somewhere to Johnstone. Eli Gordon goes in motion left. And uh, play clock runs out. I don't see a flag thrown. Oh, yeah, it is on the sideline here. Usually the back judge would throw that. Will be a delay of game. Makes it a third and 26. So a little shift in that field position you were talking about. Exactly. Here. And again, this very well could be a little bit of a screen. I mean, third and 26 is hard to make it up. You'd like to get half of it back. Johnstone's gonna take the carry around the left side, but nothing doing. Big Sniffed stretch, out well. Big stretch. See that sack, that pressure on the quarterback was so important to Dow's defense. Great job by and number eight, Owen McCaffrey, the senior to hold him to a uh, short gain, and Midland will be forced to punt. Martin Bradley. Good snap, line drive, kick. Fielded at 32. That's Garrett Daniels. Good coverage by the Chemics. All right, excellent. There's actually Max Fisher on the, as the punter, as well as the kicker. And so Dow defense holds. Yeah, that big sack just big sack, uh, brought it in and now, shifted everything. Now Dow has the field position. All they really need here, and what you talk about is 
if, if, it's, if you want to make a field position game, get a first down. If you don't make the next first down, your punter will put them down in the corner. So we get a good look at we get a good look at what Dow's plan is to attack the Midland defense. So pretty tight formation. Dow is noted for uh, having a big playbook with all kinds of counters and misdirections. Low snap, Jude finds it. Guy wide open. He's going to be uh, pick up the first, still driving ahead. A great effort by Garrett, Garrett. Daniels. Now, Midland plays strictly man to man. That was a, in essence, a perfect, perfect situation. Here's Dow in a little bit of what we call a bunch formation. They're going to drag Garrett Daniels across the field. They're going to get a little rub right here. Uh, player comes out, Judy comes out, throws the ball, and completes it easily. To Garrett Daniels. Watch how open Daniels is on this replay. And you can see the, I, I want to show you at one point the rub that occurred by the running back. It was a very good pick. Jude back to pass. Same play, other side. Not quite as, another uh, pickup for Daniels. Really the same play, just run the other way. No, that's not Daniels, that's uh, Garrett Coates, number 22. But he'll pick up four. Bring up second and six. Here, Daniels, you mentioned he's there. And now you're in. Now you're in four down territory. So there's your little run across the middle of the field, and again he's open because he's. Dow's doing an outstanding job of, of eliminating uh, defenders. It's <laughs> a good way to put it. Jude spins. He's going to keep at a big gain. He's still on his feet. Shane Jude is going to go in and for the touchdown. Okay, so our number one key of the game for Dow was to start fast. That's a fast uh, start. You cannot start any faster than that. That was a, a terrific individual effort by Shane Jude. One of those counter plays that we were talking about. Dow mixes it up, and you got to have a defensive discipline. He found that hole and then just sprinted up the gut and powered his way in for the score. Hetherington's extra point is good. And just like that, 6.17 to go. First quarter, Dow High strikes Pater. Okay, here, we have a little misdirection here. And then up into the chute, and when we get up in the chute, Watch the number of missed tackles and Jude playing the way it is. There's the little reverse twist. That's an old single wing play, by the way. Yeah. And there's the arm tackle there. There's an arm tackle there. And you just, uh, Shane Jude is hard to bring down. When he's healthy, he's a, he's a terrific runner. When you say, uh, you, you often say guys know where the end zone is. He, he knew where the end, zone, where the end zone is, yes. That is Jude's But again, what made that play? What made that play was the sack. Yeah. They got the sack. They forced Midland the punt. They got great field position. They caught the punt, which is something Dow hasn't been doing all year. They caught the punt. They got it back. They ran two passes, and they're in business. They're in four-down territory, and they get a, a terrific play out of Jude. Jude is uh, the Dow's leading rusher coming into the game with 540 yards. Short kick fielded by Albrecht. Albrecht. Darting along, still on his feet. Big return for Midland. And there's your field position all the way out to the 47 yard line. Huge return. That was not very good coverage, on, not spread coverage on the part of Dow. You, that outside guy can never let anybody get outside of him. So we're going to take a look at this. Here's the here's what I'm talking about. Out here, you've got to protect that perimeter. No matter where this guy goes, you're squeezing in. Now there he goes. See see how they let him get. They got caught on the inside. Now the blockers are out in front, and as a result, you get a good return. That's good running by Albrecht. Money back to pass. Fires got Johnstone. Little juke move, and he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. 
Good tackle by Dow. He just about broke that one. But down to the 38 yard line. Very good completion, good, uh, good coverage. When he's got a great arm. And I'm through a bullet right there. And Johnstone, uh, if you mentioned, had a great year. 34 catches, leads the league. 533 yards receiving and nine touchdowns coming into this game. Johnstone is the lone setback. He'll take the handoff, runs up the gut, and he, before he's brought down by Gage Kroll, number 51. Good run in there. Now, now the field position game has changed. Now, now Midland is in four down territory, and Dow is back on its heels again. It's a five yard pickup down to the 32 for the Chemex. I've been impressed all year with the poise of Al Money. Stands back in the pocket, finds the, op finds the open receiver and delivers the ball where you can catch it. Watch the throws that he makes tonight. Money's gonna keep it this time, drive ahead, and he'll get the first down. He's gonna pick up about, needed five, got six. Inland on the move here. Also, uh, now in the backfield, number 20, Eli Gordon, the junior. Johnson started the game, but he's uh, he's not in there right now. 85. Brady Richards is the tight end. On the front line, Caleb Cummings starting at center, number 57. First and 10, Kamix at the 27. Money back to pass, makes the handoff, fires down the middle, through, throws up a duck, and it is intercepted in the end zone. What so a big turnover. Ball fluttered on him. He threw it into triple coverage, now, now, really. First off, he was open early, then Dow recovered, and now all of a sudden the ball is up in the air. Here comes our replay, and you'll see we got this pattern here. And there's the action. Now he's open, and there goes the safety going back. And uh, kind of Nicholas Parker, number eight, with the big interception. Wow, that's a big interception. Midland goes for it all. And uh, remember, we talked about turnovers also. Wow, okay. Returned all the way out to the 23. Avian Rivera is the running back. One of those little shovel passes, got room to run. Oh, it just got tripped up, that was McCaffrey. And uh, he's gonna pick up about four on the play. Well, so far Dow has implemented an interesting game plan. They are not gonna attack the middle of the field with anybody other than the quarterback on some sort of a delay, and they are attacking the width of the field. Jude with the handoff to Rivera, gonna get a couple. That's, uh, that's hard shedding in there, I gotta tell you. Midland's defense up front comes at such a ferocious pace that you have to be ready for it. And if you're not ready for it, you're only gonna end up with that one and two yard game. The teeth of that defensive line, 52 Solomon Thomas, 18 Paul Valeski, and number 15 Hunter Nagel. Their linebackers, number 24 Chase Mahabir, number eight Martin Bradley, and number five Ty Fagan and Eli Gordon also uh, play kind of a rover, play some linebacker, some safety. And there's going to be a timeout called by Dow on this third and four play. And folks, uh, MCTV, MCTV volunteers and staff would like to thank the Legacy Center for community success for their support of tonight's production. The Legacy Center is committed to improving outcomes for youth, families, and our community. 
They do this through literary services, youth development, substance abuse prevention, and consulting with other nonprofits to improve their evaluation and outcome measures. The Legacy Center helps people of all ages reach their full potential. For more information, you can visit, as you can see on the screen, TLC for CS.org, or call the number on your screen. Uh, you can stay tuned to MCTV Network's Community Voices on TV, YouTube, and podcast for new programs produced by the Legacy Center for Community Success. Thank the Legacy Center for all they do in our community. Third and four here for the Chargers. Big play right here, Dave. Big play. Caffrey split wide to the left. Mativa goes in motion. Jude back to pass. Looks downfield, and it is almost picked off. Albrecht jumped the route. He read that and uh, just was unable to hang on. Jude hung on too long to the one receiver. He, uh, he never allowed, the width of the field was out on one side, and he ignored the width of the field. He stayed on that short side of the field, and Albrecht is a very dangerous DB to do that to. And a very fortunate right there that that wasn't a big turnover. Yeah, he had room to run if he was able to hang on as well. And so Albrecht is back to receive the kick. Bryce Albrecht, he's a senior. Good boot. Caught at the 41 by Albrecht. That was a heads up play. A lot of times on those punts aside, you let that bounce and you could lose another 10 yards. Exactly. Caught it on the fly, picked up about uh, five on the return. Probably him catching it that way might have been about a 15 yard decision. Absolutely, right absolutely. Now we've got a, a good field position. Ball on the Midland 45 yard line. One first down and now you're in four down territory. And Midland is very tough to stop on four downs. You can stop them on three, but it's hard to stop them on a four down. Midland with the full house backfield here on first and 10. The counter, it's Eli Gordon jumps one man, he's still on his feet. Gordon breaks free all the way down to the 25 yard line. Some great speed, Gordon is a tremendous football player. Probably more noted for his defensive prowess. Dow, Dow was not ready for that. I think they had that it, full house backfield. Full house backfield. And you can see Dow, is, back Dow there. is standing around. and You can see where they're lost in the shuffle. A poor tackle there. And now he's going to run for a considerable difference, distance. Same formation. Johnson's going to get it this time and plow ahead for about four. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Midland on the march. Well, this is where you say, okay, we're just gonna get down to business and run this full house. The full house has Johnstone is number three, Johnson 32 and Albrecht lined up in that backfield. This time they're gonna spread it out. Johnson will remain in the backfield. Third and six, Johnston in motion. Money's going to keep it. Pops it out right. Good job by that Charger defense. A, uh, about a two-yard gain for Money. Big question right here. Do you kick the field goal if they get down there, or do you go for it? You got a third down, four yards to go. He's the team's second leading rusher this year. 380 yards, three touchdowns. Johnson is their top runner with 524. Money alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Fires. It's caught by Johnson close to the first. He's got the first down. He's very got it. dangerous pass. But it, that was good, a good completion. That was a bullet. That was. It was a very dangerous pass. It was good coverage, and he just uh, rifled it. And Johnson, Johnston with uh, tremendous hands, picks up the first. Now, when you go out here, you just see his one on one. Here's your situation. He just turns around. Here's a beautiful pass right there. But watch how close it gets. It see the Dow. Dow defender gave just a little bit too much. I don't blame him. We threw it, it just before good, the yep, break. Right? Johnson Perfect throw. takes the carry. 
but not much there. Terrific defensive performance right there. Evan Mativa missed it all up. And though we have, the clock is run down on that first quarter. And so Dow High on top seven, nothing. A tremendous start for the Chargers. You couldn't wow. ask for much more. Was that a fast quarter? It was a fast, a fast. quarter. We've had With quarters. a lot of action. Yes, we've had quarters where the first quarter was, we were at 9.30 on the clock. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out why it was, seemed to go so fast, but uh, very entertaining quarter for this packed house here at Municipal Stadium. You can see the Dow High student section in full force out here tonight enjoying this one as uh, their uh, team on top by a touchdown. Um, and so Midland though is uh, on the march. They'll have a second and 10 when we start the uh, second quarter. And uh, you can see both of these offenses pretty dynamic. You know, they can both run the ball. The quarterbacks can both run. Strong arms on both sides. We're in for a great one We're here tonight. In, right now, if, if the first quarter is any indication, yeah. could be the guy who has the ball last wins <laughs> the game. So now you got to give their defense credit. They stopped Midland on that first possession, then uh, came up with the turnover. Let's see if they can uh, rise to the occasion here again. Midland head coach Eric Metner sends his offense out to start the second quarter. And it's going to be money alone in the backfield. This empty backfield is all quarterback. And it's going to be a fast pressure throw. Watch how fast, fast. It is. he pump fakes, goes for the end zone for Johnston, and it's caught. Touchdown, Kemmich. Yep, touchdown. You good know what? Coverage. That is, uh, it was good coverage. Johnstone good coverage. just went good. up and got Johnstone it. Johnstone wanted the ball more than the defenders wanted the ball. You know, that was one where Money just said, I'm going to throw it up, and my guy's Perfect pretty throw. darn good. And nice. he's going to break. I said about it. Money's throws. They all have a nice touch to yeah. them. They have a nice feel to them. They're easy to catch. That was one right there. Perfectly thrown ball. The 10th touchdown reception of the season for Johnstone. And Money's 21st touchdown pass. Max Fisher will line up for the uh, extra point. There's a flag on the play. Movement. Midland jumped. Money is the holder. When you have your quarterback as the holder, it uh, you know makes you be on your toes defensively. Whew, wow, tell me about it. <laughs> That's the one thing you always watch out for. The other thing, as the other coach, your quarterback is your holder, and you're always worried he's going to get yeah. run into. So that'll make the extra point uh, a little more challenging here for Fisher. Could hold good snap and he booms it. No doubt about that. Max Fisher, big leg. He's his 43rd extra point of the season. And he just, it's a long line of outstanding Midland High kickers. That has been a hallmark of their program for years. It's a great kicking game. Okay, so here's the touchdown. So now we've got Johnstone out here headed for the corner. Watch Jude or uh, Money step back, make an absolutely perfect throw into double coverage. The little pump fake, and there's an absolutely perfect throw. And Johnson goes up and over and makes a great catch. On that interception, he, uh, he was hoping for the same thing, but he kind of fluttered on him. Right, and right. Didn't get a good release. This time he does, and we are all knotted up at seven here again at Midland Community Stadium. Again, folks, this is the 50th city championship game. And uh, electric atmosphere here. Now, a great night. I'm a little concerned right now because Midland is able to pop that, they have a little pop up. And that pop up, we're, we're, we're watching them line up here on the right hand edge. They're going to pop it somewhere around the 10-yard line, 
and there is nobody around the 10 yard line. Yeah, man, is a quite a difference. I mean, this is one of Midland's trademark yeah. on their kickoffs. And and I really don't think anybody has ever done it better than Fisher. Fisher's a senior. He's going to kick it deep though deep this kick. time down to the two yard line. Oh, what coverage. What a job by the kick return uh, kickoff team for Midland. That was uh, Rivera on the return, but got out to the 11 and just got stopped. Rivera's big mistake there was catch the ball. Here comes the here comes the kick. Catch the ball, and we're going to have it down in here. But catch the ball. That's number one. Now get up the sideline. Watch what happens. He's going to turn up in the middle and stop. And the moment a, a kick a kick returner stops, he's done. He's yeah. done. You cannot stop. Carter Thomas, number seven, really put the initial hit on there and the just blew only, up that the return. The only place you stop is when you hand the ball to the official and you run in the end zone. That's the only time you stop. Jude is going to keep it. This time he is swarmed under. Gordon in on the stop, along with uh, Mahavir. He's going to actually a, lose. That was an option play that just didn't have anything no. going for it. Yeah, he decided to keep it, and it was it was really both the run and the pitch seemed to be covered on that play. Middle and uh, showing good discipline. It'll be a one-yard loss for Jude. Bring up second and 11. Midland handles the option very well. Trips left for the Chargers. Daniels goes in motion. Option again. And Jude, this time still on his feet. Cuts back up. Jude still going strong over midfield. He could go all the way, all the way. Oh, Shane wow. Jude goes 90 yards for the touchdown. What a run by Jude. What a run. He Just broke power. tackles. Made moves. Wow, that is incredible. That was it. Remember, I just said, you know, Middle, Middle, Middle plays handles the option. the option beautifully. And in this case right here, it was just an individual effort on the part of Shane Jude to make that play happen. Even though the previous play got stopped, the Dow saw something they liked, obviously. And, uh, Jude kept it again and uh, just a tremendous play. Hetherington for the extra point. It's good. And just like that, Dow responds and it is 14 7. Woo, what, a, what action. All right, me. so we get the guy going in motion. And here comes Jude, comes here. Here's the pitch back. And he's going to get caught in here by some players and then he's going to break a number of tackles down that sideline. So there's the, there's the pitch. Didn't happen. Great block by 60. There's the first missed tackle. Here comes the second missed tackle. Here comes the third missed tackle. And you know what? Shane Jude is very deceptive. Wow, that is impressive, isn't Break it? Breakaway speed. 90 yards. Now, when have you seen that many missed tackles? on the part of the Midland secondary. And this is what I keep saying. The essence of today's football is tackling in space. And there was a lot of space there. Jude at 6'1", wow. 190. He just he's ran tough. through some. So he's had two long touchdown runs today, 40 and 90, where he just uh, is not gonna be denied. Wow, stunning turn of events. This time Dow with a short kickoff. And uh, you know what, I think, no, offsides is the call on Dow. They jumped the gun a little bit. Well, that's the one thing you don't want to do. That helps with the field position. Yes, absolutely. You like Gordon and Bryce Albrecht back deep to receive the kickoff for Midland. 
junior kicker Hayden Hetherington, who's had a really good year for the Chargers. The left footed kicker. Another short kick. It's going to be Gordon at the 22. Finds a crease. Driving ahead. Okay, there's another example of what we're talking about. When you're right, when you're a kickoff return guy, there's no stopping. The moment you stop, you allow everybody to get a shot on you because you're not fast enough to, to regenerate again. You got to make the burst into the seam, have a second burst, and go. Caleb Brensky and Dawson Studebaker on the tackle for Dow. Brensky, a defensive lineman. So Midland take over on their own 41, down by a touchdown. 10.34 to go in the second quarter. Fumble the snap, money falls on it. A big mistake for Midland. Had some uh, uncharacteristic mistakes here in the early going. Midland 8-0 on the year. You don't, you don't become 8-0 by making very many mistakes, and so um, Dow has taken great advantage of most of them so far. Here's a little bit of a snap right here. It hit the, the motion man. It hit the motion man, and very fortunate right here to jump on the ball, not pick it up. Second and 13, tight formation. Johnstone in motion. He's going to go deep, and it's intercepted again. Wow, Garrett Daniels with the pick. He tried to find Gordon deep, and the ball just hung up in the air. Great coverage Very again by coverage. the secondary. Again, excellent job. This is a one-man pattern. Dow's tight, one-man pattern down the field. Garrett Daniels, 32 to safety, is going to be in position right here to cover. You got two people on the play. Garrett Daniels did an excellent job of going up high to get the ball. Dow did get some pressure on money there. He might have had to deliver, couldn't deliver it in full, get a full step into it. Uh, he had to get rid of it. And uh, Daniels, the second interception of the night for the Chargers. Empty backfield. That means Dow's going to throw big. Four wideouts to the right. Ah, uh, Dow's going to get a penalty. Jude going deep, and it's just overthrown. He had an open man but it'll be incomplete. Dow was very lucky there. There was all kinds of movement in their backfield and alignment problems. Yeah, Merrick, number 71 was one of the uh, guys spread out wide to the right. Be a second and 10 for Dow. Dow said big plays tonight and they went for another one right there. Take a look at it again here, you can see Bell Giorno, number 71. He just ran uh, sideways because he can't have a lineman downfield. He's run out wide to the right again, this time in the slot. Interesting formation for Dow. Jude is going to keep it again. Stiff arm and drives ahead for about seven. Just a, just tripped up. So now we know what Bojorno is out there for. Yeah. That first play was a setup. Here's Bojorno right here. He's a lineman. He's going to come down in here and block the safety. And as we see the play, here comes the same option play. But watch what happens as Bojorno goes down looking for the safety. Here's the lead back. Good stiff arm. But we have a, a pretty decent play by uh, Mahabir. Mahabir. Well, that was a big play for the uh, inside linebacker. Right. We're, we're looking at another 20, 25 yards. Yeah. Third and three for the Chargers. This time, Jude goes wide to the left. And uh, Rivera's going to keep it. He's on his feet. Another big gain for Dow. A little bit of a wildcat. All the way into Chemic territory to the 46. We said Coach Watkins and his staff, they're uh, um, very innovative. OK, so. So here's Jude he's going to go in motion. And he's going to end up out here. And this is Rivera, who is our wildcat. 
and he just gets right up in the shoot. A little bit of an easy trap block. That was a terrific play. Huge block. Terrific play design by Dow to, to take advantage of Midland's aggressiveness. First and 10, Chargers at the 46. Quick hand, or Jude's gonna keep it, nothing doing there. He just got, Mojave or, uh, blew that play up. There's a flag we're gonna, off the we're play. We're gonna get a unsportsmanlike from Dow. It might be on mid. Well, we'll see what the call is here. That's a late. The play was over, and the, the Dow guy went out and blocked and knocked down the Midland guy. The officials uh, discussing what they and in reality, saw. there was no reason for it. You see the call. It is a personal foul on Midland. Wow. Okay, that's one so. I missed going to mark off 15 big yards. That is one giant penalty. All the way to the 32-yard line. Dow up 14-7, and they are knocking on the door. Now they're in four-down territory. Yeah. Dow always has, they just have so, so many wrinkles, you know, on what they, they do with their formations and you, their motions. And keep their you paying counters. attention. Jude goes in motion again. Rivera is going to keep it. And, oh, just tripped up. Boy, he could have had some room to run, but uh, a good job by Ty Fagan to trip him up. Well, when that happens and Jude goes in motion, you know there's only one guy is going to carry the ball, and he's only going to run. I mean, it's not a, he's not a dual threat. He's not an option threat. You don't think they may throw, throw he, to that sometimes he, back to Jude? Might we I'm see not that? sure Rivera can do that, but okay. we might see it. I've never seen it. He just pick up a yard on the play, second and nine. Midway, close to midway through the second quarter. Jude back to pass. He's got time. Goes deep downfield, and it is caught. Touchdown. Touchdown. Garrett Daniels. Garrett Daniels, what a job. Great throw by Jude. And just like Johnstone did, he went up and got it. Pretty good coverage, a great throw by Jude. And a great catch by Jan Daniels. Jude is having an unbelievable half here. Now, that's a phenomenal catch by Garrett Daniels. I've got to tell you, and a, and, and a perfect throw by Jude. You know, I, when Jude went in motion and Rivera was back in the backfield, I'm saying there is nobody who should be handling the ball right now than Jude. Hetherington splits the uprights and Dow High goes up by two scores, 21-7, just over seven minutes to go. Okay, now when we take a look at the replay, you got one-on-one -on -one out here. Garrett Daniels one-on-one. -on -one. Watch Jude set up in here and make good play, but watch Garrett Daniels at the end of the play. That's the key. Okay, good, good coverage by the line. And he just, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. That was it. And a against Albright. Who's, who, in my mind, is their best defender back there? He was there. He was there. He was and a. Uh, all, and, and to tell you the truth, Daniels wanted the ball more. That, that was he a, just he went you, up and got the ball. It was a you got Moss to play. Yeah. <laughs> he just went up and over and uh, hauled it in. And so another big play for the Chargers. This time from, what was it, about 31 yards? So they've had a 40-yard touchdown run, a 90-yard touchdown run, and a long pass for their three scores. Well, Garrett Daniels is around 6'4", and and uh, Bryce Albrecht six foot. There's, there is a, a advantage. Good coverage, and we have a penalty also. So it's probably we go a, back farther. It was Gordon on the return to, to the 24. Block in the back. I didn't see a. Uh, Face mask, I don't think. 
against Midland. It's going to be a hold, and that will set him back even farther. So Dow High has come out flying here in this first half, really on both sides of the ball, and uh, really putting the pressure on the Chemex. Wow, this has been an exciting game. Oh, man. And, and a surprising game. I'd say that Dow performance, the Dow defense has been pretty impressive. Absolutely. Forces and turnovers. And obviously their offense has. Racking up big yardage. Money's going to keep it around the left side. He's going to cut up, knock down at about the 24. Good first down run. Excellent first down run. If you're on the corner, if you're on that perimeter and that outside linebacker and everything goes away from you, you can expect money coming back at you. You just can't lose that control. First and 10, Chemex at the, their own 24, trying to make something happen here. Midway through the second quarter. Momentum definitely on Dow's side right now. Hand off to John Stone. Well done by the defense. Studebaker uh, really made the play. Good containment on the edge, forced him back up where he was uh, cleaned up after a one yard pickup. Kind of interesting. The two linebackers are the Studebaker brothers. Yeah. You know, both great players, great. Look, they look exactly like their dad. They play <laughs> like their dad. Feisty, tough. They never give an inch. Yep, that's for number 40 and number 11 are the Sue Baker's money in trouble. There's a flag on the play. That's probably a hold, and money is just swarmed under. I think the ball's loose, and Dow's going to get it. The Dow defense oh. swarming him under. I think that was Studebaker, number 11. Actually, it was a host of Chargers. They're uh, put pressure on money and just swarmed him under. There was a flag on the play, probably a hold which Dow would decline. They do. Okay, so here's Money gonna get in here. He's gonna get in trouble. Dow's gonna put lots of pressure back in here and then the fumble's gonna occur. So there's the first move right there. Money goes back to throw and here comes the pressure up the middle, flushes Money right. Here's the hold. And now he Dow stays in there. Money didn't put the ball away. He had the ball money, up high. The ball is up high, and Dow's in terrific field position. Well, you couldn't ask for a better field position than this. Ryan this Sage. Is, this is where Jude takes over. First and goal. Jude is going to keep it. He's going to find the edge, and he's going to get his third touchdown. There's a flag on the play. This one may come back. Two flags went flying. Well, we're looking at a yeah, hold. It's a hold, yep. It's a big call. It pro may explain why uh, Jude was all by himself there. Juni, Jude is uh, running with purpose tonight. But that will come back to the 17. It'll be first and goal from the 17. <clears throat> this kind of feels like a big part big moment in this game coach if uh you know well, if Midland, Midland can Midland. stop them they can maybe get some momentum Midland back. has to hold right here in the they got to hold it to a field goal or less this is not a, a if, if nothing else happens here this is not an easy field goal first and goal from the 15 but still it's four down territory just got to get 15 yards. Jude back to pass. 
Little bubble screen, but to Mativa, and he's gonna go in for the score. He breaks a tackle, and a great play call by Dow. Again, that's that same crossing Mis pattern misdirection. that we had before. Judy right. went right and threw it the screen back left. Judy with two rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns here in the first half. Wow, this is a stunner. Gordon gets close, but a drilled extra point by Studebaker and Dow on top, 28 to seven. Middle All defense right, so now is confused. This, here's Mativa right here. He's gonna work his way across the field. We're gonna get some uh, misdirection this way. We're gonna get the wide receiver out here taking care of business and watch what happens. Mativa's just gonna make a little move here. Excuse me, and he comes across. The middle linebacker is not ready yet and gets caught in that inside position. And now you got, that was a safety, Nick Dower, who got caught inside. You yeah. can't get caught inside. Wow, this has been absolutely incredible. It's been a brilliant performance by Dow on both sides of the ball so far. And a surprising performance by Midland with the turnovers. Yeah. You know, the, the turnovers. There's three turnovers. The, right. And you said turnovers, well, like a lot of games, they are gonna be a number one thing. They influence the game. And Midland hasn't really gotten pressure on Jude, but Dow has gotten pressure on money. Line drive kick. Fielded by Gordon at the 15. Cuts up the middle. And he's tripped up finally. Ball goes loose. I think he was down. Really good return by uh, Gordon there out to the 39. Give Midland some uh, some breathing room. So with 5.16 to go in the half. Midland has to do something right here. They need to here. do something. Right here, Midland has to, has to make a statement to get it back to two scores. Right now, Dow is jacked up, and Midland's on their heels a little bit. Johnstone in motion, takes the handoff. Johnson with lead block, but it strung out well. Nice job by Dow's defense, stringing it out, making the product not allowing Johnstone to turn up. Johnstone's not a left and right runner. Right. He's a north-south runner. Carter. He wants to get up in that field and do something. Carter Coates uh, ran him out of bounds. Good discipline by that Charger defense, just stringing that play out. Second and 10. Johnstone with the handoff. Nothing doing. That's. Uh, Aiden Belgiorno. Third and nine. And Dow, uh, if they st go three and out, Dow's gonna have a lot of time. Dow's defensive front has been impressive tonight. And they really stopped the run well and have gotten a lot of pressure on money. Well, to me, this is money to Johnstone. You know, I mean, that's, that's wherever Johnstone is, he'd be tackled because he's, he's the one that's gonna be the number one look. Money back to pass. He's flushed out under pressure, fires, intercepted again. There's a flag on the play. This might be rough in the passer. It's, for now, it's, uh, it is roughing, roughing the pass. passer. Wow, what a huge penalty. Instead of, the third interception uh, by Dow, it's gonna give Midland a first and 10 in Dow territory. So there goes money going back. Now he goes out. Oh yeah. And That's a good an over-aggressive 
play. An unnecessary play. Daniels on the interception. I think that was a, a pretty good call right there. First and 10, Midland at the 45. 4.22 to go. I'm agreeing, why is the ball 15 yards from the line of scrimmage? Well, wouldn't rough in the passer be uh, from the line of scrimmage, not a spot? Oh, oh. You're, I think you're right. You're right. Because technically yes, you it could, is, it is. It's, you it can is. almost benefit from it, you know, if you're. Trips right for Midland. Johnstone in motion. Money's going to keep it. Goes up the middle. Going to get about five. This Midland. offense, from this point on, is going to go through money. A little forward movement there. A good five yard run. Three and three, four minutes, a little under four minutes to go, Dave. And we're going to, again, we're going to start seeing money throw to Johnstone. Albrecht wide left. Money's going to keep it again. Runs to the left side. And he's plows ahead for the first down. Good, strong run by Money. He had uh, Studebaker. The two Studebakers were uh, in on the tackle, but not before. Money picks up seven yards in the first down to the 33. Clock runs, three and a half to go in the half. Just feel like this is a huge possession for Midland. Johnson in the backfield. And I think Dow's calling timeout here. That's probably a good timeout by Coach Watkins. You know, you're Very good timeout. getting your you heels a little bit. You can just kind of recalibrate. You've been playing such a great game so far. I think he also senses this is such a huge drive. This is a big, this Midland is a drive scores. for the game, right? They go in the locker room with, with the momentum. That penalty could very well be a 14 point turnaround. Yeah, the so way it's an interception. Was moving, you know, the interception happens. If anything, and if Midland scores, it's at least a seven point turnaround. Folks would like to again give a uh, Big thank you to the Legacy Center for uh, Legacy Center for Community Se Success for their support of tonight's production. The Legacy Center is committed to improving outcomes for youth, families, and our community. They do an amazing job. They do it through literary literacy services, youth development, substance abuse prevention, and consulting with other nonprofits to approve their evaluation and outcome measures. You can look on the screen. Check out their website or give them a call to learn more about them or how you can be a volunteer. First and 10, Chemex. Now Money barking up the signals. He goes back to pass. He's going deep downfield, and it is incomplete. It was a great pass. Is excellent in pass. the hands. I think it was Albrecht, just unable to bring it in. See that one-on-one -on -one out there, that's very tempting on the part of uh, money to throw to all brick. It's all one-on-one. -on -one. And Ooh. the matchup is very favorably in all bricks. It was good coverage out there. Uh, McCaffrey, money's got an arm. It was a, a you bullet. got about a four or five inch differential between Albrick and Nick Parker. But you see they're giving some help over there. To set up a screen, he throws it up for grabs. Interception, and he's gonna be on his feet. Daniels with another interception. There's gotta be a flag there. <laughs> they just took out money late. There's flags everywhere. So we're gonna see what is, what is how this all shakes out, but uh, Money under pressure threw it up for grabs. It was the third interception of the game. Okay, so here's Money going back. 
He's going to throw it out again. Here is Daniel sitting here in wait. So here's your one on one out here. So now there's going to be. He just threw it up for grabs there. It's uh, holding against Midland, declined. Personal foul on Dow. I think it's post possession though. It, yeah, it will be Dow's ball. I think the personal foul was during the return. During the return, yes. It kind of head hunted money. Well, so much again, for that drive. Again, that, that drive. Again, we're looking at turnovers. I, it's Dow, pressure Midland on has, the quarterback. Exactly. The Midland has committed more turnovers tonight than I've seen him do all year. It's three interceptions Total. and a fumble. Yeah. And it, the other interception was negated. Right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, money was under heavy duress and uh, really just threw that one up for grabs. So Daniels, who had a interception nullified a few plays ago, um, this one will stand. Dow still has three minutes to go. They have one timeout, ball on uh, their own 19. You just kind of go conservative here or do you go for the jugular? I'm going, no, I'm going in the locker room, 28-7. Yeah. I'm not taking any chances. Dow well, is in charge right now. Now, again, it goes through money, or it goes through Jude now. Well, he's interesting how the, the quarterback dynamics has happened yeah. tonight. Jude having the game of his life tonight so far. Low snap. Jude, he's going big. He's got Daniels. There he goes. He's still on his feet. Finally hauled down by Johnstone, but so much for being conservative. Daniels having a monster game himself, a he huge is. game. He's having a fabulous game. This is the best I've seen him play all year. And you'll see it right here. Here's Garrett Daniels coming out here. The motion man goes out here, and Jude's just going to go back and watch how open Garrett Daniels is. That's a shocker to me. He's just got all day to throw. Right. He's wide open. Albrecht misses the tackle there. And Johnstone's able to come up and save the touchdown. But now they're in Midland territory. Big sweep and great play by uh, Max Fisher. That was McCaffrey. They tried a, a new twist there and uh, did not get, or they lost yardage. It's an injury downfield. I think that might be Belgiorno, number 71. 2.14 to go in the half. He's our wide-eyed blocker. Yeah. And so, uh, so much action in this game, but. Okay, so this is that little, little shovel pass. But watch how Midland comes up and makes a beautiful defensive move. Right there, broken up. That slows the game down. Max Fisher comes in. And shows he's not just a kicker. <laughs> Ty Fag in number five was uh, really kind of uh, right. threw that off, uh, forcing him back up like the defense man needs to do. And so they're uh, attending to um, the injured player. Uh, I hate to see this. I think that's, I do think that's Belgiorno. So Dow did lose about five on that play. But yeah, they don't show any signs of uh, taking their foot off the gas pedal. Well, right That's now they help, have though. exposed Midland secondary and have recognized the fact that Garrett Daniels is not gonna be stopped tonight. Midland's gotta come up with a Something to stop Garrett Daniels. See the uh, concerned Dow High student body. 
the senior gets helped off the field. Yeah, I just hate to see that. Daniels, uh, yeah, came in as the leading receiver, 19 uh, yards per reception. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's uh, adding to that percentage tonight. Second and 15. Jude spins and keeps. This time it's uh, read nicely. He scored a touchdown the first time he tried that tonight. Right. But this time Paul Valeski, number 18, with the stop. He's going to lose a little bit more. It'll be third and 18 from the 44. Yeah, you, you just don't want to do anything to alter momentum at this point. I was going to let the play clock run down as far as they, as they can and milk the clock here, under a minute and a half to go. Jude, back to pass. He's got time. It's a screen wide open as Daniels. And a huge tackle by Fisher. Wow, that was a big play by that Fisher. Probably saved a touchdown. That was that same play we saw earlier in the year earlier in the game where they had the bunched formation to the right and uh, dragged him across. It's almost like a counter screen where he looks like the play See, is going the, right. Here's the bunch. He comes out and then goes across. Nicely done. And then they still have two blockers out there. And uh, But Fisher, I th he may have scored on that play. Midland calls the timeout this time be fourth and nine from the 36. Dow uh, discussing what to do here. You just got a punt here, don't you Quick think? kick. Oh, set up uh, as a play and then it's a good, yeah. Quick kick. Because fourth and nine, you may or may not make it, but what you don't want to do is give Midland a Jeez. chance with a minute to go. Right. You want to make them at least go the field. Jude is coming back out. I just kick a little squ low squib and they have been getting yardage in chunks tonight. But they'll probably go for a touchdown probably. and they'll, <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll be saying, well, what are you talking they about? Probably, we, we don't kick. <laughs> They're trying to communicate with the uh, clock operator, I believe. 112 is when that timeout was called. Jude back to pass. He's pump fake. He's going for it all. Daniels was open. Oh, and he overthrew him. They were going for the jugular, like we said. Or not like you said. <laughs> not so much like of the, you said, but it might just prove you wrong, but why not? Judy and Daniels have been on fire tonight. So Midland will take over on downs. Daniels got caught up in the war shot there. And uh, you, you can see he was stumbling just a little bit. So with 106 to go, Midland's got two timeouts. Money quarterback has struggled tonight. He's gonna roll the right. Here comes the screen. He's under big pressure again. And Money fires it and uh, does get rid of it. There's a late flag out here. Receiver downfield. Yeah. Right. Number 57. 57 is downfield. He has to, he should talk to the Dow the offensive lineman on how to, <laughs> yeah, stay, how, to not go, yeah. how to not go downfield unless it's a run. Yeah, when Dow does split out their linemen. I guess it 
couldn't work every play, but you know, if you throw that out there once in a while, if you're not sure what's coming, it does give you that extra right. blocker. Yeah, that will decline that. I thought they might decline it. It was incomplete anyway. Second and 10. That does only have one timeout. Full house backfield, which was effective for Midland early on. Johnstone on the carry. Plows ahead, good strong run for about eight. Bring up third and two. And the Midland's gonna let the clock run. Let me guess see if you get the first here. Johnstone again, he's gonna get the first. Or no, that wasn't Johnstone. I think that was Gordon. We'll move the chains. Midland, I think. No, they're gonna let the clock run. I thought when they get the first down, they may call timeout and see what they can do, but. Gordon wrapped up and thrown down by Mativa. Well, and they will go into the <laughs> locker room with a uh, stunning score here. The whole idea there was let's get to that locker room and get straightened out. Yeah, we got to get some things yeah, figured we out. Get some things happening. You wouldn't say the game's over, really, but it's. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a long way from it, being over, but 28 7 is a shocker. A shocker. A shocker. Dow cannot have played much better than that. And Midland could not have played much worse. <laughs> I mean, that, as I say, I've never seen the number of turnovers that occurred on the part of Midland. And, you know, we talked about this, what influences a game. Turnovers, quarterback pressure. Dow had so much pressure. So, yeah. And then field position. Dow continuously had perfect field position. And really, Midland had one one good field position. Right. And so with the teams heading to the locker room, Midland to uh, try to figure things out and uh, Dow to figure how they can keep it rolling. But we're gonna send it down to the field for to, to enjoy the halftime performances with the first the Midland High Band and they'll be joined by the Dow High Band. We'll see you in the second half, everybody. Drum majors Taryn Vielma, Ashley Welsh, Hannah Worley, and Ryan Kuchek. From our show, The Circus, our tuba section will now be featured while we play that great tribute to those giant pachyderms, Baby Elephant Walk. Band, are you ready?
and now, the Middle the High School Fight, fight Song. song. to thank our booster parents and our assistant percussion instructor, Mr. Michael Fair, for all of their work that they put into our program this year. The Dalhai Band will present Malagania. Junior trombonist Ryan Erdman and junior trumpeteer Joseph Dauenhauer will be our featured soloists.
And now we welcome the Chemic Marching Band back to the field for a very intense Tom Wallace arrangement of Believer by Imagine Dragons. Finish this special half show, show. We'll add the combined Dow High and Midland High pom pom squads for a great routine to the classic rock hit by Journey. Any way you want it.
Ladies and gentlemen, as they leave the field, let's show our appreciation for the combined Midland Middle Schools, High School Marching Band, and Pop and Pop Rocks. Fantastic halftime performance by the Midland High and Dow High marching bands. And again, this is Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore bringing you the action in the 50th city championship game. And so far, Coach, through two quarters, the 50th title game has been all Dow High. I would say that there have been games like this in this series before where as you go into the game, you're absolutely shocked at what has happened in the first half mm -hmm. where one team has totally dominated the other and it's not the team that everybody expected <laughs> yeah. to, to do the dominating. And uh, so we're gonna come up with some highlights here and take a look at uh, some of the things that caused this 28-7 to happen. Here's uh, the, the the sack. And then set the, the tone for the set, whole game. And there's the, Right there, uh, Jude makes a break. There's a lot of missed tackles. And like I said, when have we seen that number of missed tackles for Midland? And this is a pass over the middle. Again, lots of pressure on Jude. He throws it up for grabs. And it ends up being intercepted in a big return here. I think Kroll got a piece of his arm when he let go and uh, set up that pick. <coughs> Again, right here. This is the touchdown right into the corner. Great pass and a great reception. Uh, again, this is Jude's run. This is a terrific run. It bounced off two, three, and then he just runs away. And that was the thing that I think he's very deceptive. Yeah. He just ran away from uh, the defender. Yeah, he just uh, increased his lead there. And this is a money back to pass. Again, pressure, pressure, pressure. Throws the ball down the field. Garrett Daniels out jumps that was the receiver. It was Kroll with the pressure again, and 51. This is Jude throwing a, a beautiful touchdown pass. Up and over Garrett Daniels. It goes up and over Albrecht for the touchdown. And this is a play right here that's crucial. There is money trying to make a play. Ball gets up in the air. It's fumbled. 
and Dow recovers, has a penalty, and then this is Mativa coming across. Now remember, this is Mativa at 250 pounds, and it's not always so easy to bring him down. Again, lots of pressure, and interception again by Daniels. Uh, a terrific play. Garrett Daniels has played one tremendous first half. Yeah, how about to the tune of four catches for 101 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions for Daniels, getting it done on both sides of the ball. Jude, meanwhile, uh, brilliant first half. Seven for 10 passing, 122 yards, two touchdowns. To run the ball five times for 132 and two scores. Wow, terrific. So you, uh, uh, just a fantastic performance by um, those two, but not just those two. Uh, this has been a really a great team effort on both sides of the ball. Midland High, meanwhile, struggled, obviously. Uh, Al Money, uh, uncharacteristic first half, four for nine, 39 yards, three interceptions and a fumble lost. So uh, four turnovers there. So Dave, when we talk about games, we talked about what influences games. And number one thing that influences games, turnovers. And there we have right there, four that occurred. We talked about pressure on quarterbacks. Sometimes that causes a, a turnover, but it also causes incomplete passes and, and no movement. And finally, we talked about field position. Dallas had tremendous field position all night long. Midland has had so-so field position. Yep. And you know, I think it's important that we take a look again at our uh, keys to the game. And uh, I'd like for our guys to bring it up. Did Dow start fast? Yes. Blindingly Did they fast. Have to? <laughs> yeah, they have. And they have had so many of those, maybe three and out, sometimes two and out, mm -hmm. and sometimes one and out on defense because of the turnovers. And consequently, they've been able to come up with plays that move the sticks that get them in good shape. Now, for Midland, uh, they really haven't had a chance to ex exploit that special team advantage right. that they have. They have not pressured the quarterback at all. And unfortunately, they have not gotten the big game for money that they expected. Now, and this is what I, I would tell every one of our teams, it's a two-half game. Right. And you got to go on out there and you got to take them one series at a time. You cannot try to get it all back at one time. One series at a time. Score, stop them, score, stop them. Well, in this case, they're going to have to stop them first because Dow uh, had deferred the exactly. kickoff, so they're going to get the ball. And uh, you'd have to say that first Dow possession is uh, probably is huge for Midland, probably even more so than Dow, you'd have to say. Well, I always say the last possession of the half in the first possession of the second half sometimes can tell you what's going to happen in the game. So what happened in the last possession of the half? Midland decided to sit on the ball, mm -hmm. and now we'll see what Dow does in their possession. And so this packed house here at Midland Community Stadium, one side, the home side, that's Dow. Uh, uh, fired up about that first half, the Midland High now, side, a little bit stunned. I would say they're shocked. I mean, they have not seen their Kemic football team in this situation. Right, 8-0 coming in to the game, ranked number one in Division Two. Dow, huge game for them. A win clinches a playoff and a tie with the Kemics for first place in the conference. So Fisher's kickoff sails out of bounds, not what now, they again, wanted. Again, can you... Can, and, Wow. How much more can go wrong? I mean, that uh, that's kickoff is usually one of their uh, aspects where they can turn things around. But um, I've always felt kicking a kickoff out of bounds is one of the biggest penalties Absolutely. in football. Absolutely. You instantly give the team good field position. And I will take it over on their own 35-yard line. So first and 10 Chargers. Mativa in the backfield as the running back at the time. And a quick pass out and a big gain on first down. 
all the way down, run out, finally run out of bounds by Johnstone, but uh, good play action pass by the Chargers. That's Parker on the reception. Quick it's, feet. It, we're not. We're going to have trouble on the replay because Dow's going fast. Uh, wow. Okay, you can see right here, little quick out pass, little delay, nice catch by Parker. Mativa going to drive ahead. Brought down by Fagan. After about a three yard gain. And so uh, Dow uh, comes out. <laughs> if you wondered if they're going to let off the gas, the no, answer is no. No, they're not. And they shouldn't, really. They're, things are going they, their way. They need, they need this touchdown right here. This touchdown may put the game away. Jude in motion, done it before. Uh-oh, wide open. In the cutback, and he's still on his feet. Finally hauled down. And uh, that's Rivera, the most successful uh, uh, of those plays that they've run tonight. Yeah, here again, this is Jude going in motion, and a snap to Rivera. And watch how they clean out this corner. Got the trap right, right there. There's the trap. Lead play there and fit by 51. And a beautiful job of blocking. So this time Jude split wide out to the left. <laughs> Another new wrinkle for Dow. Rivera and the Wildcat fights ahead. And he's going to pick up about four or five yards on the play. So that's the thing about Dow is, like we said before, with with Coach Watkins is they just uh, are so innovative coming up with new wrinkles and new formations that they just try to keep their de defenses on their heels. And here we go again with uh, Jude split out wide to the left, Brensky and Rivera. Rivera with the Wildcat. He's Matt Strong that time. So that was Gordon coming up to make the stick. Well, right now, you know that you can play Jude one-on-one -on -one out in the corner and put 10 guys to Rivera because that's all you can do out of that, uh, that alignment. Dow's trying to pull guards. Midland's coming down and take care of business in the inside. Third and four. Dow High knocking on the door all the way down to the Chemic 10 here on the opening possession of the second half. Trying to add to this 28-7 lead. Jude, he's going to keep it. Cuts up and he's going to waltz into the end zone again. His third rushing touchdown of the wow, night. Wow, 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 wow. He goes untouched. Midland is just befuddled right now. All right. They have run this quarterback option keep and have done such a fantastic job of it. And Midland just is not prepared at all to stop it. Yeah, that option right that Judy's been running has just been uh, bring uh, huge yardage for Dow. Extra point is good, 35-7. We talked about the opening drive of the second half where the comics have a chance to turn things around. All and, right. mm, uh, <coughs> Here run. comes our replay. Now, again, we're going to run that same option that we've looked at before and watch Jude turn right up. He's going to break a tackle. Dow's able to come and scoop up on everybody. There's the, there's the miss. Here comes a second arm tackle miss and no other fill. Well, He's good. in the end zone. It's a beautiful job. Colin Erickson uh, came out for that lead block. And uh, when he made that block, just there's nobody in front of Jude. And at some it, point, that look easy. At some point, they're going to do the same thing. And Jude going to stop and throw the ball to Daniels in the corner. And he, there won't be anybody there. Wow. 
Who so would have <laughs> thought 35-7? What a what a performance by Dow High School. Gordon on the return. Boy, he runs hard. Out to the 42. So right now, if you're Midland, I mean, you have uh, most of the second half, but uh, a huge hole to dig out of. Well, and well, here's the thing. Midland hasn't been in this kind of game where they've been on the other side of it. Right. And you kind of wonder what is going on. And sometimes you just get so shell-shocked that you don't recover. Big series for Midland right here. Their first series of the half. Johnson is tripped up. That was Studebaker again. Studebaker linebacker is doing a great job tonight. Really, the entire defense is uh, playing night. phenomenal. Fabulous night. And have you noticed you don't tackle Johnson high? Right. At 225, 230 pounds, they're tackling him low. Money back to pass, fires, got his man. It's Johnstone, and he uh, is going to get got the, the first. first. He did fumble it out of bounds, trying to stretch it forward. But Midland will move the chains. Midland, uh, their passing game was tried to go deep a lot. Yeah, this, and is, this is where they need to go. This to is get where on him. Let, let those receivers run with the football. Johnson trying to bounce out, but just strung out. What a job by that Dow defense. Uh, tremendous play. Carter Coates, number 22, uh, among others, stringing that one out. It's really a decent job here by the Dow defense. This Johnson's going to take this ball, and he's going to just get up in here and then kind of wheel his way around. There's, there's the cut. 84 got caught in the backfield, and here we go. We're just hanging on, hanging on, hanging on, waiting for help to get there. Money, he's going to keep it, and again, just nowhere to go. Studebaker and Studebaker on the tackle. Dawson is number 40. He's just a sophomore, and Caleb Studebaker, number 11, is a uh, senior. Third and seven for Midland. Maybe six. Money back to pass. Pump fakes, fires, overthrows Johnston. He had him open. Might have just waited a little too long to get it to him. You kind of feel they Midland's got to go for it. They have to go for they? it. There's no question. They down, have to go for it. Down by four touchdowns. And they have to just throw that same little pass. A little out. Just, just exactly what they tried right there. Send them down the field, get the first down, move the sticks, make this a um, easy play. We'll see if Dow brings the pressure. Here it comes. Money fires. Got his man. That's John Stones. Still on his feet, still going. He's out of bounds there. Well, late hit. That may be a flag. It is. He was out of bounds back at the 14. Now Johnson's going to get flagged for uh, for barking at the Dow guy. So they could have had that. Uh, so again, this is, we're looking at Johnstone to make the play. There's a nice easy pass. He gets into the open, nice catch, breaks a tackle there, runs down, and now we're going to look at a little bit of frustration here as he steps out of bounds. He's pushed. That, drew the that, flag. Should, not, that should not be the flag. No, that was the first flag. But then he came and uh, was, was taunting, and so it's going to be uh, a sportsman like a late hit on down and a sportsman like a Midland, I think. 
Johnson was out in the 14, and then he got hit around the goal line. I don't know if the defender heard the whistle or not. At That's the call, it's offset. So Midland will get the ball at the 14, first and 10. Both were dead ball fouls. So Midland marching, desperately needing to find the end zone here. Now that they have it sorted out, it's back at the 14 where the play ended. Well, we'll see what happens here, Dave, because Midland must score. They're inside the red zone. Money's gonna keep it. Run out to the outside and haul down. What a job again by the Dow defense. You notice how Dow has stretched this field all the way across. Tremendous coverages. Yeah, Dow just uh, playing very disciplined. So it'll be uh, with no game, we'll call it second and 10 for Midland. Johnson, Carey tries to cut up and swarmed under again, minimal gain. Both the Studebakers in there again, along with Bel Aiden Belgiorno. Third and eight. Middle and high line when it's hurt. He's kind of the, uh, limping at number oh, 55, okay, yeah. Keaton Hawking. He's kind of limping a little bit. Ooh, hang in there, Try man. to tough it out. Hang in there, run it off. It's the center, or no, run. the right guard, right excuse side. me. Third and eight, it's a big play here. And there's a timeout. I think the play clock was running out. No, timeout, Midland. Well, I mean, it was oh. running down, so oh. we called timeout yeah. to, to prevent that. Folks, you can watch this HH Dow High versus Midland High football game on the MCTV network. MCTV's channels can be found on Charter Spectrum cable channels 188 through 189 in Midland. You could also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's UVerse. Check out MCTV website at uh, cityofmidland.gov backslash MCTV for playback dates and times. More dates and times to follow on MPS TV 190. View this game on demand at the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel. And also you wanna see more high school sports and events like this on MCTV? Stay tuned to the MCTV network to see these programs and more that's the marching band showcase, volleyball, swimming, basketball, and hockey. Follow MCTV on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channels, and listen to our local podcast to get connected to your community. Third and eight for the Chemix. 5.46 to go in the third quarter. Money, back to pass. Under, under heavy pressure again, he's brought down, and that is 51 again. Having a monster game is Gage Kroll. Kroll. Gage Kroll has been outstanding all year. He's wreaking havoc, and... <laughs> all right, so here we have Gage Kroll out on the corner here as he comes in. Money's gonna do a little crisscross here and come back, and here comes the pressure. Right out there, unblockable. Kroll has just uh, had sacks, led to the turnovers, a lot of his well, pressure. Well, they gotta go for it. They got a fourth and 20. Money, a little screen, 
to Albrecht on his feet and hauled down from behind. He's gonna get 10, but a long way from the first down and it's Kroll again. And Dow will take over Dow on held. downs. Dow just playing. The sack. Phenomenally. The, the sack. sack. The, sec the sacks have been incredible on the part of Dow. And by the same guy, Kroll. Yeah. Putting so much pressure on that oh, outside. And Midland just cannot handle it. Personal foul on the Chemex. This Losing is, their composure. Frustration fouls. So Dow, that win over Mount Pleasant, you know, you kind of felt it changed. Yeah. It kind of changed the feel of this game. And, and down. They were and down. it kind of just added to the confidence, I think, for Dow. They were down two touchdowns and came back and won in the fourth quarter. That's phenomenal. But tonight is unbelievable. Yeah. Just from right from the get-go. Quarterback Shane Jude having the game of his life. Again, spread out to the left. Yep, running that wildcat. Rivera, there's a flag in the play. Whistle, it's blown dead. It's offsides on Midland. My goodness. This is just one of those where everything goes right for the one team and everything is wrong for the other team. So bring first and five. Really run that wildcat a lot here this second Absolutely. half. Absolutely. And I'm truly surprised how successful it's been. Yeah. You know, because you know what's going on. Jude takes snap this time. Option left. And there he goes again. Another first down over the 45 to the 46. He, he was one tackle away from a touchdown. He was. He's already got three rushing touchdowns, two TDs via the air. Again, move the sticks. That's the rule, move the sticks. Especially when well, you, you've got this kind of a lead. It takes take minute, minutes up. off the don't, clock then. Don't be in a hurry. Move the sticks, keep getting first downs. Erickson split to the in the slot right. Low snap, whistle blows. Dow, Dow moves. It's a false start on Dow. Back him up. They haven't had a lot of penalties tonight. Well, you don't like those. I mean, the other the other penalties they've had have been uh, penalties of aggression, where they've yeah. late late hits and that. But we're going to see a little bit of it. You see the movement right in here. There it is, yeah. oh, on the end. On the end. A little quick back to Rivera. He's gonna get about three, middle and sniff that one out. Mahabi are on the stop. I think, I think we're going to see that crossing pattern, Dave. That's it's still the yes, counter that, screen, that, sort of. It's just a cross, just an end it's running really, across. Yeah, not really. And screen. they're going to pick off the other two guys. And Dow has done quite a job of uh, what the pros call rub routes. Yeah. I used to call wraps, <laughs> which are route altering patterns. <laughs> but you're going to see this. I'm pretty sure right here. Jude is going to keep it on his feet again. He has just been a wrecking ball tonight. Brought down by Fisher, but not after a big game. 
makes it the third and very manageable four yards. Okay, Dave, here's a shocker for you. If Dow scores here, we're going to have a running, running clock. clock. I was, uh, you know, that to me is. Wow. There's a flag in the play. That will negate Jude's run. Didn't see the signal on that, did you? Uh, too many men in the backfield. Oh, okay. Second and 17. The end man on the line of scrimmage was a, played as a flanker rather than a on the line. Okay. The way this night's gone, <laughs> second and 17 doesn't not feel insurmountable for Dow. Little shovel pass to Mativa, and there he goes. And he's hauled down. And uh, but. That will be a pass, I believe. One of the, that It'll little shovel, a little pass, shovel to him. pass to Mativa. Just another wrinkle. Dow has just thrown so, everything and the kitchen sink. Now in this the is tonight. this is pretty cool. Here's Mativa right here. We're going to see the little shovel pass, and then he is wide open down down yeah, that sideline. There. And in, there it is, right? Little turnaround play. Great blocking, and you know, Mativa just says. See man hit man. <laughs> but when he stepped right, yeah. the defense shifted right. Then he just reversed to get the shovel pass. And Jude is going to keep it on the option. Better job there by Dow High, or by Midland High. Better job of handling the option. When they get in that situation, you can see now Midland High is keying on Jude. Yeah. Mahabir and Thomas on the tackle. Might be time for the pitch. Might be. Might be time for the pitch. We're uh, winding down, getting close to a minute to go here in the third quarter. Second and 11. And, uh, and Dow, when they, when Dow Midland, is in four down territory. And so when they stop Midland, Dow's just been able to eat up clock on this drive. Low snap, Jude's back, here's a little screen, and he's open again. It's Rivera. See where the spot is. Short of the first, but it's gonna be about a third and two. Again, it's four down territories. This is two downs to get two yards. Yeah, And I'd definitely. be very surprised if the ball's in the air. Uh, yeah, I would. I'm gonna guess Jude is gonna uh, keep this one. You haven't really been able to slow down that option. He does keep it. It's not an option, but straightforward. Drives ahead is good effort on Jude's part. He was stopped at around the 30, but when he drove ahead, he is. Uh, he's gonna be a little short, but it's gonna be. Fourth and and uh, very short. Yeah, there was no gain on that play. The the linesman that stick didn't move. Okay, so big play right here. The, big play. This is going to be the end of the quarter. Of the quarter. And uh, wow, just continues to roll for the Dow High Chargers. And uh, MCT volunteers and staff would once again like to thank the Legacy Center for community success for supporting tonight's production. Uh, the Le Legacy Center is committed to improving outcomes for youth, families, and community. They do this through literary s literacy services, youth development, substance abuse prevention, and consulting with other nonprofits. Legacy Center helps people of all ages reach their full potential. For more information, you can call the number on your screen or go to the website 
Stay tuned to MCTV Network's Community Voices on TV, YouTube, and podcast for new programs produced by the Legacy Center for Community Success. Well, it's going to be fourth and two. Certainly, Dow is going to go for it here. <coughs> you, uh, it's like got to be the if option. If has, if Middle has any chance at all, you feel yeah. like you're going to have to stop it. Here. It's going to be the option. It's got to be. It's one play that Midland's been unable to stop. One, they've been able to stop at one time for three yards. Right. Which would be enough for the first here. Interesting, Dow currently has two linemen over 300 pounds. Wow. That's that's a little bit of size. Let me explain some of these kind holes of lean, that have been opened lean, up. They're leaning on them. Yeah. I used to say, okay, he may be 275, but at the end of the game, he's still 275. <laughs> Rivera set up right behind Jude. Jude is going to go up under center. Oh, the direct snap to Rivera, and he's got room to run. He's going to go in for oh, the score. What? what a call. Did they snap it through his legs? Yeah, not legs? allowed to snap it through his legs, no. He had to come up over a guard. Did he go over the guard? Yeah. I, he can't snap it through his legs. It's illegal. What a another brilliant play call for Dow High. Jason Watkins' this, bag of if tricks this is... Kick, if this kick's good... We're in running time. Who would have Come ever on. thunk that? And extra point is good. And yes, folks, we have running time. And if we told you before this game started that that might happen, you would have guessed probably that it was going to be the other way. Okay, so here we go. So he lines up. J Jude is. He's under the guard, I think. He's under the guard. I think. Well, regardless, the umpire, the, the umpire and it's the referee touchdown. didn't call it, and it is a touchdown. So, <laughs> unbelievable, beautiful. The, Crazy play so call. So has Dow been huh? sitting on a lot of these plays I all year? I don't know where. Or, uh, or I don't know. You know, I used to say in week six, I would prepare for this game mm -hmm. with certain plays, and I'd put certain plays Just in to try that I would thought that could work. So, wow, look at this. 42-7. 40. Here, here it comes again. So here's Jude. Going to step up right here. No, that's the center. That's the center. Yeah, it's through his legs. I, I got to tell you, I don't think that's legal anymore. That used I, to be legal. <laughs> that used to be I legal. I don't know if I've really seen that before. No, it used to be legal. Well, back in the, back in the uh, early 80s, teams did that. Did they? Matter of fact, for many years, that's how Midland punted. With the oh, quarterback yeah, right. over yes, the center. Yes. Albrecht takes it out to the 28. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a running clock. Just, uh, just an amazing performance by Dow High tonight. It's got to give credit where credit is due here. Absolutely. Midland has been uncharacteristically befuddled. Yeah. And miss tackles, miss blocks. A lot of the touchdowns have just been kind of wide open plays, it seems like. A little show pass to Johnstone. But Again, not much stretched doing. out, stretched out. to the 30. Wow, 
just <laughs> this is just stunning. I'm not sure the Dow High faithful expected this. Johnson, he's a, it's been tough sledding for him. He yes, has, it has. He's not really been able to get north south very much. This has not been, you know, this is his first week back. Six and three. If Dow wins this ball game, and they should win this ball game, they're going to be six and three, and in definitely in the playoffs and in the picture of maybe even a third seed. So money on the carry gets the first. And Midland will should continue to be the one seed. Might be one of those, probably neither team really wants to face each other again the very next week. Absolutely not. Money back to pass. Under pressure again. Surveying the field. Fires looking for Johnstone. Throws it, throws it away. Heavy pressure again. It was uh, Studebaker and Kroll. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Good coverage. Yeah, anytime they try to go look downfield, um, they just he just doesn't really have time to to set and fire. Money's going to keep it. Squirts ahead. It's about the forty-eight. Third and four for the Chemics. <laughs> some happy campers on the Dallas side. There are right some now. very happy campers, I mean, rightly they, so. They know where this game is right now. This is Johnson going to get the first. Continues to tick down. Midland at the 44. Money's going to keep it. Big gain this time. Still driving ahead. Finally hauled down. It's about the 30. Good run. Good hard run. Okay, so coach, would this be at all? Would the Midland coaching staff? You know, we got half a quarter to go, clock's running, with the possibility of playing again next week. Try to even build some positive. You're trying to build positive. Looking here. for the trying, next week. Trying to look at it. But Johnson. I'll say this. No, oh, great play <laughs> by. Uh, if something doesn't happen on this drive, you're going to see some substitutes yeah. go in to protect yourself. Right. You do have to say at one point, okay, yeah. this game, we got to look to the future. 76 Madden Brady on that tackle. It was a loss. It'll be a uh, second and 11. Money spins ahead. It's interesting, Midland has decided not to pass. Right. Down 42-7. Yeah, They're right. running the ball with Johnson and, and money. money. And that's a, that is a true surprise right here. Because you would like to get out of that mercy rule right. run. Yeah. Money back to pass. He just got blasted. Again, heavy pressure. Caleb Schultz 
putting the hammer down. So fourth and long. Okay, so here's our pressure coming up here by uh, Schultz. And Money's going to get back to throw, and he's going to be held up just for a minute. It's just a little bit longer than you want to set. And see how it, the footwork there was a little uncomfortable. Fourth and about 16. And he's a big hit out there, and Dow will take over on downs. Fisher on the reception. Stude Baker with the big hit. So now. What's going to happen is if I'm down high, it's going to take a minute of play. You know, before it, right. it's going to take a minute of play. And so Dow is, uh, has put in their uh, second unit. Jubilation on the Dow sideline, and rightly so. Jude high five and everybody. There's that shovel pass. Midland trying to strip the ball, but it's uh, Nathan Klein on the carry. And Gavin Miles is in at quarterback. We mentioned before the game, Gavin Miles, 18 for 19 passing on the season. But I think most of them were play, were that. So again, he's 19 for 20 now. Against Saginaw. Yeah. Phenomenal stats. Kind of ran the, that same play over and over again. So he's passing at a 95% rate. This time he's going to keep it. Oh, and he's breaking loose. Finally hauled down. There's a flag. That may be a face mask. But Miles uh, with the keeper and uh, more big chunk yardage for Dow. Everything that can happen to Midland has happened. It has. Including losing your composure. But you know what? Honestly, you just you just got to give all the credit to Dow. Dow has just played phenomenal tonight. Could, could not Dow have played a better just game. Played. Here's our replay here, and you see there's a little handoff and get up in here. Now watch him run in here, and again he's going to break tackles, drag tackles. It's a. Uh, What? So penalties offset. So that, that play won't count, right? Nope, nope. They're both. They were both during the play. So a blindside block against Dow and face mask against Midland. So we'll run second down over again. So does the clock just stop on penalty enforcement? Yes. Okay. Because it stopped at 319 right now. Only in the super penal super does yeah, it continue right. to go. So we've done uh, two Dow High games uh, in MCTV this year, and both have gone into running clock. All three games we've done have done running clock. Oh, right. The, the, the two that Dow yeah, play, yeah. yeah, but all three, yes. Now I was wondering why it's not running there. Now it's running. Now it's going to uh, snap at the last possible second. And a carry by 18, Xavier St. John. Midland's got their uh, second unit on defense, mostly at least. Uh, 
So yeah, as the clock runs, it's, uh, it's monumental for Dow. Ensures a playoff spot and a tie for first in the league. Miles is going to keep it. Get well, much. You, you think about that. You're going to get a playoff spot. You're going to be a league champion. You've won the city championship. Yep. All in one shot. <laughs> in you know, one night. You know, that's. And you mercied your number one opponent. Right. I mean, it, all in one shot. It's a dream night for the it Chargers. It is. It's a fantastic night for the Chargers. And an absolute disaster for Midland. Yeah. They got to regroup fast. And they jump off sides on fourth and nine. It'll still be, yeah, it'll still be fourth, but they'll be able to uh, take 25 more seconds off. Fourth and four. Now is going to call timeout with uh, two seconds to go on the play clock. Now me. I guess whether you punt or go for it doesn't make a lot of difference right now. Hey folks, uh, the coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up for our new MCTV producer workshop. You'll learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, use professional video cameras, and edit your final cut uh, editing software. Uh, the cost is just $45, includes your annual access fee, and there's the dates and times on your screen of when you can sign up. Give us a call. And Dow's going to punt. It's uh, Jude's the punter. Might be their first, is it their first punt, second punt of the night, I think. First. It's, well, remember, uh, Albrecht caught that oh, one that's on that's right, the that's right, second punt. But it's gonna, <laughs> clock will continue to run. Ball will die at the 31. And so Jude will end his dream night <laughs> with a great punt. And uh, yeah, when I say dream night, I mean it. On the night, 10 for 13, passing for 180 yards, two touchdowns, 10 carries, 155 yards, and three touchdowns. That's, I, a, I'd that's a little Tim Tebow-like right there. I'd say he's player of the game. Phenomenal performance uh, by the senior. But it wasn't a one-man show by any stretch of the imagination. Dow's this defense just, was just, phenomenal. Yep, they got great pressure. And uh, it's the, uh, the carry for Jarrett Wagner. And that will do it. Congratulations to the Dow High Chargers City Champs in the 50th rendition of the game. And they punch their ticket to the playoffs, six and three, and they'll finish. Uh, what a game, Dave. Yep, what a what game. What a surprise. And I couldn't be happier for Dow High. I think their coaches have had a very difficult season. Right. They've had injuries, they've had sickness. Yep. And to be honest with you, their first two games were tough games. I mean, Grand Blank and Lapeer is a, is a tough start. 
and then they came back. And I think the key is last week coming back to beat Mount Pleasant. Right. And then at this game tonight, they did exactly everything that we said they had to do. They had to start fast. They had to move the sticks. They had to control the game with their quarterback, and they did all of those things. And the end result is you've got a hat. Look at the field over here. <laughs> A happy Dow High student body. <laughs> student section storms the yeah. field to meet their team. Fantastic. And now, uh, jubilation. On the other side, Midland has a long road to go in the playoffs. They're a very good football team. Yeah. And they've got to regroup right now. Sometimes they, this takes the heart out of you. Yeah. You know, it rejuvenates the one team and just takes the heart out of you because you've been exposed. It'll uh, be... Uh, uh, call for a great coaching job by Metner and his right. staff this week right. to get them ready. But we're gonna yeah. we're gonna take a look at the, some of the uh, highlights of the game here for you folks right now, and there were plenty for the Chargers. Again, here we are the, in the very first series. The pressure, the sack that really destroyed the first drive, and then here's Jude just breaking tackles and running with. Abandoned in great speed. Yeah. And then here again is, is a play uh, just as he's being hit. This is throwing the ball, he's being hit. We have an interception on the part of Dow High in the end zone, and it comes out uh, quite a ways. Yep, Kroll again on the pressure. What a night for him. And here's the touchdown uh, to Albrick in the corner. Great pass, great catch. Option play the number of missed tackles. There's two, three, and then right here, number seven doesn't get it, and Jude just runs He's away gone. from him. Missed tackle, but just sheer determination on Jude's part. And now here we go again. This is the fumble. No, this is the interception by Daniels. I mean, I gotta say, he played a great game. He tonight. did. Two touchdowns, two, yeah. two interceptions. Two, two. And here comes one of his touchdowns right here. He goes up and over Albrick and has it. This is the fumble that I thought, this was the difference in the game right here. Yeah, he just needed to eat it yeah, here. Yeah, he, he gets back, he's still working hard. The ball gets fumbled and Dow recovers and they're able to make a, a, a play here across the line to Mativa and Mativa just again shakes the tackles off and gets in the end zone. Here we go with another, another rush and there's Daniels again jumping up, making a play. And Jude runs that same option play right into the end zone. Beautiful job. And this is that little snap between the legs. Midland did not and, know what was happening. And Rivera goes in, un almost untouched. And so as the, uh, yeah, the Dow High faithful uh, celebrate on the field with their team, um, and we'll head back in the locker room, like you say, we'll have to, uh, <laughs> we'll just have to regroup. I mean, uh, there's a playoff game a week from today, and you just got to get ready for I think they will, though. I mean, I, this, this is a proud team. Uh, it was a bad night. They got uh, I ran know. into a buzzsaw, but I, I think they'll be ready to play. I know those coaches. They're going to get after it. Yeah. And they'll be a different team on the field next week. Same players, just a different team. Yeah, and so, yeah, so tonight again, congrats to the Chargers. Finished the um, Saginaw Valley League record six and one, ties Midland for first place. And with the win, finishes at six and three in the regular season. We'll head to the playoffs next week. Midland two having a uh, bad night tonight, incredible season, eight and one as they head into the playoffs. And so we'll see this week on who plays who and where. And, um, but uh, we've uh, enjoyed bringing you all the action uh, this season and tonight in the city championship game. Great work to the crew back in the trailer, all the great camera work. The MCTV staff uh, just does a tremendous job bringing uh, broadcasts yeah, like this. And so it's a real service to our community. So once again, uh, congrats to the Chargers winners in the 50th annual city championship game, 42-7 over the Chemex. We'll see you next time, folks. Good night, everybody.
Walk down a street in our community and you will see the shapes, sounds, and smells of everything that makes us unique, distinct, memorable. At the heart of our community are the people, a wonderful blend of individuals always learning, developing, and working hard to realize their full potential. The Legacy Center for Community Success provides the resources and support individuals need to lead a successful life. We're helping people of all ages improve their English, reading, and math skills, boosting self-esteem, improving school performance, and increasing job readiness. We're helping young people gain the knowledge and skills they need to become confident, contributing members of society. And we're giving parents the information and tools they need to help them along the way. We're providing measurement and evaluation methods to our nonprofit partners so they can improve their programs and demonstrate their impact. And we're partnering to identify gaps and improve services for people throughout our community. At the Legacy Center, we believe everyone deserves the opportunity to reach their full potential. Our community is rich with resources, and we are committed to collaborating with our partners to ensure those resources are used wisely for broad community impact. The Legacy Center for Community Success. Potential realized.